Hello. Welcome okay, again to Program with C++. Uh, today we're looking at data types and variables. What are data types? We say that data types are categories of data that define the kind of value a variable can hold in the programming language. Um, there are different types of data types in C++. We have the derived data types. For um, example, are strings, arrows, pointers. We have the user-defined data types, uh, structures, union. Uh, we also have uh, modifiers. Modifiers made up of signed and unsigned short, long data types. We also have primitive data types. And then for the purpose of this video, we'll be looking at primitive data types. Um, primitive data types, we have um, integers, which are made up of uh, negative and positive whole numbers. We have floats, which represents floating point numbers with single precisions. Uh, example, so we have 3.14. We have double, which represents floating point numbers with double precision. Um, we have car, which represents single characters. Uh, example of uh, characters. Uh, any anything in C++ with a single quotation, that's, that's a character, is considered a character. So we have A with a single quotation, a small A capital, you have one. And then also uh, we have Boolean, which represents uh, true or false. There's another data type um, called, the name is uh, void, uh, which represents access of a type used in partial returns, which we'll be looking at uh, later in our upcoming videos. Okay, so what are variables? Uh, variable is a memory location, or we could say a container that stores data. So um, basically, uh, it, it serves as the holding place for uh, data in our program. So the value of a variable may change during execution. The variable may be declared, initialized, or assigned. So um, declaration of variable. When we say a variable has been declared, um, basically what we are saying is that we are reserving memory space for it. So an example is int copy. So here we have the variable type, or sorry, we have the data type, and then we have the name of the variable. So this is variable declaration. And then the next is uh, initialization. So uh, variable initialization here uh, refers to uh, when we actually assign a, va a, a value to the variable at the time of declaration. So example is in coffee equals five. They realize that the moment we declared the variable, we assigned a value to it. Then we have assignments. Assignments, uh, here we assign the value to a previously declared variable. So let's say we've already declared a variable of name in Scofi. Then later we assign a value to that. So there is a syntax for naming a variables in C++. Uh, we say that first, the data type. So first, the data type of the variable, then followed by the variable name and then the assigned value to the variable. So let's, let's quickly look at um, some rules that we are supposed to follow in naming variables then. We go to our ID to practice what we just learned. So rules for naming variables in C++. Um, we said that we are saying that the first thing is that you start with elected or an underscore. And then a variable can't begin with a number. So basically when naming your variables, it has to start with a letter or an underscore. You can't start with a number. And second, we don't use um, special characters except underscore. So underscore is the only allow special character in naming of variables. Um, third, we say variables are key sensitive, meaning um, age in, with a small a is different from age with a capital A. Yeah, so um, variables are key sensitive. Uh, next, you see that variable names cannot contain reserved words. So words like in, class, within, you can use them for variable names because um, these words are reserved. Um, and then the programming language already has predefined understanding of these words. The next, variable names cannot contain spaces. So you can say, you can declare a variable and then have coffee space. No, you don't do that. Um, Lastly, uh, last two, um, these, they are not composed, but uh, they are worth keeping. Um, so subsequent characters can include letters, tickets. So we say that 
if you have a variable of name, um, let's just, so let's say uh, we have a variable of name, let's say coffee, let's say coffee. After this coffee, we could have numbers here. You can say coffee one. Yeah. And then we are saying that uh, variables could be long. So you could have a variable by name coffee going to school plenty. But we are advising that you keep your variables uh, short uh, for readability. Yeah. So also at this point, you are saying that variable names cannot contain spaces. So you can say coffee. Or John, coffee John, then you space no. But here you could use underscore to present the space, or you combine the two names. So let's head to our IDE. Okay, let's see. So we have an ID here. All right, so we have our ID. So uh, we said that the syntax is this here, All right. All right? So you're seeing that the syntax for uh, declaring variables is that first the data type of the variable followed by the variable name and then assigned value. So we mean when that the data types we have um, in data type. So let's declare. A variable of type int. So say int, and then let's say int a. So this is declaration. Come here to say int b. And then data we could assign values to them. We could say a because i, b because i. So this is a variable declaration. This is variable assignment. Or we could say a means a equals five and b equals two. So this here is what we call variable initialization means that a value has already been assigned to the variable the moment it was declared. So this is how you declare a variable of type integer. So um, let's go to uh, variable of type floats. So we say floats, then a variable name j because I point, let's say by point two. Then can we say, then let's declare variable of type double, say double because I point very three. Let's declare variable of type car, we say car, all right? Okay. Sorry. There's no brand. So you see, let's say, oh, double O. So you see, car. Car A. Because. Okay. Don't forget in C after every statement or even in code, you'd end it with a single column. So let's declare variable of type bow to say it does true. Okay, I think um void we'll be looking at it later. But I think we have one. One, two, three, four, five. No one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So these are the five uh, basic data types. And then how to declare the variables. C plus plus. Now let's move to the next step. Um, here we discussed uh, uh, conventions that you must follow in naming variables. So we are saying that, so let's take this one. So we are saying that first you have to start a variable with a letter one, and that's cool. So in variable naming, you could say, let's say int, let's take a variable of type int, so you could say int. Ghost, say that. Yeah. 
or you can say int underscore a eight equals bit. This is the correct right. So the second rule says that no special character except the underscore. So that is what we have here. You can't have a variable any special character like let's say you say int int percentage int those let's execute let's compile them see but when it says that on this with the qualified id that means yeah we don't do this we can't show yeah so then let's uh you're saying that c plus plus um, is he sensitive as such um, this is declare and eight it was right and eight it was two and eight it was seven So, the moment we have to call eight, let's say let's say C out. We said that in C plus plus, it wants to output something or print out an information. So that is how we use the keyword or the function C out. So C out, this is C out eight. Let's call it eight and let's see what it brings to us. C out eight. So come to out and run. Let's see what it brings to it brings to us. Bottom. So it, it can so let's change this and let's say give us eight. So it gives us five. So C plus plus is case sensitive. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. See that you can't use the C plus plus. We can't use reserved words function but oh, yeah so you can say int class and let's say int class int class let's say then and then this let's compile it let's see what happens if that's your dot okay so you can't do this okay you can say int they are reserved words and then they have a uh, special meaning to the program. So you can't do this. So it will say int copy or int o. Let's say int john. Okay, it tells something. Yeah. So um, we are saying that variable cannot contain um, spaces. So you can't say int john. Let's say in strong can do this. Let's as the people see what happens. So you don't space out, you can space out variable names. The best you could do is you could use underscores to put them there. So you can say in strong candy. Yeah, let's okay. So we can use the C out. John. Let's go D. Yeah. And it gives us the assigned value to Valley. So the last one I says that subsequent characters can include letters taken. So you can say in John County, one, two, three, any number could come here. Okay, so let's say we have two, two, three, two. R2, let's see this. This is good. Let's see how it is. All right, so we like that. We have that. And lastly, we are saying that you should use a uh, short name. So this, it's okay. It's it's good to name a variable like this, but it's not that vice that we should keep it as simple as possible for um, readability. So you can see, and job. Something simple in John Candy. 
to add more details. Okay, simple so it. So if there are more John Candies, you could say John Candy one to any any other expedition. So um, that is it for data types and variables, uh, primitive data types and variables with C++. Thank you very much.